Now that we know the portfolios, the big question is, are these individuals square pegs and square holes, and what's the expectation ahead of the new Federal Executive Council? I'm joined by National Secretary of the NNPP, Dipo Layoko, and APC Publicity Secretary in Lagos State, Ayodele Adiwale. They both join me via Zoom. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the program. Let me begin with Mr. Lyoko. What do you make of this cabinet now that we know the portfolios of the ministers designated? Yeah, thank you very much, Nifemi. And uh, good evening, Lagos. Good, good, good evening, Nigeria. Uh, yeah, yes, you know, we just see one thing we need to understand. The cabinet is um, President Tinubu's cabinet. So they are to serve Nigeria. And don't forget that uh, during the election year in he articulated some, articulated, articulated some points that he wants to achieve at the end of four years. So I believe that the cabinet is made up of people that he thinks can help him to accomplish whatever he has set out to accomplish. So I, I, I think um, we, should be in a, we should be in a better position to uh, assess the people because uh, he told us again, don't forget, he said the cabinet was made up of uh, politicians, which is very, very necessary and technocrats. And to some extent, I think uh, he has met that, uh, uh, that promise. Now, as to the distribution of the ministries or the cabinets to individuals, like I said, it is his cabinet. He knows what he wants to achieve. Because some people have been asking questions, what is this person doing in this ministry? What is this person doing in this ministry? Or we don't know the brief that the president is going to give them. So those people are going to the ministries to represent his views. And then we, there's something we need to understand, which is an old age longer tradition. The powerhouse of the ministry is in the bureaucracy. How do I mean? I mean, the civil servants right from the directors, even before the direct, below the directors, up to the final secretary. So they, but the, the, the minister, are just to give the political direction. And what matters most is experience and exposure for them to be able to stand as a link between the government that is the president and then the ministry that are sub the civil servant who are the people that will carry out or implement whatever the president wants to achieve. I, I think um, that's what we can say for now. We are the program progresses and now going to the future and yeah. there was expected of them as cabinet members. So, Mr. Ayod, uh, Mr. Adewale, there are a few surprises here. It's the first time we'll have a minister of FCT from the South South. Ian Sowike had many portfolio suggestions before this appointment, and FCT wasn't one of them. What do you make of a wiki as FCT minister? Some jokingly have said it's his opportunity of becoming a third term governor. It's just that this time it's in Abuja. Well, uh, thank you for having me, and I must correct the statement you made. I am not the publicity secretary of the APC in Lagos. I am the organizing secretary of the APC in Lagos. Having said that, uh, Mr. Wike is very good to serve at the Federal Ministry, I mean, at the Federal Capital Territory, as it is. Uh, you know, he has, been, he has proved himself in terms of uh, infrastructure provision and is someone that is very keen in bringing transformation to anywhere he finds himself. So we should be expecting a lot of uh, monumental projects coming up at record speed, and someone who will walk the talk. Uh, and for others, uh, the president has put in square pegs in square holes. He, is a, he knows what he wants. He knows how to make use of them. And like the other speaker said, uh, the civil servants are the mainstream of the ministry. Uh, they already set up plans, uh, a lot of new plans that will come on board, majorly will be driven by the, by the civil service. Uh, the political uh, holder is just to make sure that everything goes as planned, and of course to put his own ingenuity into place. Uh, if you look at uh, Bosso, the man that was put into the uh, uh, the telecom industry and, and all of that is someone that's going to bring a lot of transformation in there as a youth, as a key player in that industry, is going to do very, very well. Uh, I have no fear in my mind that we will not be seen 
uh, new things happening in our policy in Nigeria. Uh, we should just give more support to the administration and watch how everything will unfold. So, Mr. Layoku, you mentioned earlier that it is the president's prerogative to, you know, distribute or assign these portfolios. But as you know, Nigerians are already matching their CVs with their offices. There is Festos Kiyamu, who is a senior advocate of Nigeria, who has now gotten the Minister of Aviation. The man did say, you know, Minister of State was illegal at the tail end of his tenure, uh, as um, I think Minister of State of Labor in the last administration. Uh, there's also the, uh, the current special advisor to the president on special duties, communication and strategy, who is now minister of um, solid minerals. How important, you know, is it for ministers to come into these offices with some level of understanding and knowledge or even a discipline in that regard? Yeah, yeah that's why I said in my opening remark that... Uh, the bulk of the work, especially the area of technocrats aspect of it, resides in the technocrats in the ministry. What the minister or the commissioner is supposed to provide is just the political direction. And it depends on the individual person to make his impact well in the ministry that he is posted to. Uh, we, a lot of people have been talking about this uh, cabinet uh, matching and stuff like that. And I was uh, captured, so to speak, by the submission of one person who said, Papa, let me a word the message to the knowledge of everybody read law. But under the former head of state, General Yakub Gawan, he was made the commissioner for finance, minister for finance, so to speak. And if we was able to manage the finances of the country, even doing the work that we did not borrow one couple. It shows that uh, what matters most is the experience, the exposure, and the political will of the person to succeed. Yes, as a matter of fact, some of these uh, matchings, I mean, in terms of cabinet distribution, came as a surprise to many people. And you have mentioned the case of our senior brother, Mr. Dela Lake, who everybody could swear by whatever they have that uh, he was going to paint the Minister of Information and Strategy based on his experience when he was in Lagos State and what he has been doing with the uh, since then. And uh, that's why I said the president has a focus. And that was the, he, the people he chose, especially in the case of Tadadaki, is someone he knows inside out. So definitely he knows that what he wants to achieve in the area of mineral, deposit, mineral resources, uh, solid something, can only be achieved through Mr. Tadadaki. And that is one thing we need to give consent to him. I think we can only complain if after two years, there are no signs that these people will deliver. That's when we can begin to ask questions. And like I said, in the case of Professor Stiamo, Professor Stiamo, about four years, in the last four years, uh, was a minister, so they call him minister of faith. But a minister is a minister, worried by experience. I think what he needs most is the experience which he has had in the past four years. And maybe the president was looking at the area <laughs> of legal issues. Well, he had made them the minister for aviation and uh, something like that. So, like I said, it is the president that knows what he wants to achieve. It is now to us, because the information at his disposal, we don't know. And we don't know, what, like somebody was saying jokingly in the morning, that is like a uh, kitty state is now, uh, it, it, I mean, the minister of solid minerals is now the, the something for a kitty state. So, the president knows what he wants to achieve. From our own end, we can begin to ask questions. Say, ah, what is this man doing? For example, we could have been asking questions about the man in the Ministry of Defense. But they have forgotten that the federal candidate of NNPP and the who was a, the former governor of Akano State, the Chitam governor, was Minister for Finance under General Washington, the former Chitam in his second term. And we could say with all certainty that uh, Nigeria was not experiencing what we are having now when he was the minister. So uh, the minister, president has their CV, he has the assistance. That must be a reason why he has paid them to the, give them to the ministries that he has given them. Well, ours is as Nigeria to support them. We can be here analyzing because of the information at our disposal. But the president has more information than us. He knows what he wants to achieve with the Ministry of Defense. That's why he has put that man in the Ministry of Defense. He knows what he wants to achieve with the Ministry of Foreign General. 
That's why he has put our brother and Tadida Laki there. We can only question his sense of judgment if after the two years, you find out that these people are not even given any sign they are going to deliver. I, I think that should be our concern. Our concern now is how do we make sure that we support these people to succeed? Because it is only when the government succeeds that Nigerians can say, yes, we are actually arriving. Nobody wants to continue this stuff. We want a government that can alleviate the sufferings of Nigeria, provide security, and that is why it is the future of everybody to support the government. He has made his choice. He has been making, he has formed this cabinet. That's what everybody has been asking for. Form your cabinet, that's the government, let it start rolling. I think if the president has done this, what we should do is to support him and then the ministers as well. How important is the need to have the performances reviewed periodically? Because that's something that, that's one conversation we had about, you know, the cabinet from the previous administration. Mr. Diwale, what, what do you think is expected of Mr. President differently this time, particularly when it comes to set objectives and, you know, review their performance on the periodic basis? Well, you must understand that the president has a, a corporate background. He has worked in one of the biggest uh, corporate establishments at this time, and he understands what KPI simply means. So I can assure you that uh, periodically, perhaps quarterly or half yearly, there will be a review on their performance. And the president already has his roadmap, he has his plan in the reviewed hope document. Uh, for each of the ministries, there are plans that have been put in place, and definitely there will be more targets that will be put to support all of these ministers in the ministry. So it's not just going to be a one-man show, it's going to be a team show, whereby things will be reviewed. And if you look at the office of Minister Wale Edo, he said to be the coordinating minister for the economy. In all of these ministries, they are all tapped into uh, cascading the economy of Nigeria for good. So there will always be central review of their programs and actions. And uh, there will be so many things that we put in place. Uh, many of these ministries have been redefined in terms of their uh, structure and in terms of their working. And definitely, uh, the president knows what he's doing. And uh, you are going to see the kind of changes we saw in Lagos State when it came in 1999 and how it was able to improve the economy of Lagos and of course the prosperity of Lagos. The structure of the geography in terms of uh, uh, usage of the landmass that we have in Lagos, especially on the Lekia corridor, where he also brought in the free trade zone. So you're going to be seeing something similar in many of these industries. All right. And I'm particularly going to see, uh, hoping to see what will happen with the new economic uh, ministry. And all, all right. So, gentlemen, we just have a few more minutes. Um, if I can just um, get a minute to hear your view about this, uh, Mr. Olayoko. There was no portfolio for the Minister of Petroleum Resources, uh, suggesting that the president might be overseeing the ministry uh, that has now been split from the Minister of Gas Resources, just like we saw in... Um, two, previous administrations of um, President Abbas Sonjo and I think President uh, um, Buhari. How effective has this been, having the president oversee uh, this particular ministry? And talk to us about why it must be different, because we now have um, a substantive um, Petroleum Industry Act. Yes, yes. Um... I want to say it is too early to come with the conclusion that the president is going to take up that responsibility. Yes, in view of the fact that the uh, under uh, President Obasanjo and the President Mohammed Bukhari, that we had the uh, president holding that office. Don't forget that we still have about three outstanding ministers that have not been cleared. If not, they will not be out of this. Maybe one of them is going to occupy that position. But let us just assume that the president is going to take up that responsibility. So I, I, I think uh, there must be a reason why the, those two presidents decided to hold on to the substantive position of the Minister for Finance for Petroleum. There must be a reason. Because it depends on the focus of the government as far as uh, the, the area of the economy is concerned. Don't forget, again, we have something that uh, 
akin to what we had under President Juno Samuel. I think we now have a coordinating minister for the economy, if I'm not mistaken. I think they tend to speak to the government. Very ranted in the last poll. So everything, like we said, boils down on the, what the president wants. Don't all forget, right. according to Section 5 of the Constitution, mm. all powers, the executive powers in the state belong to the president. That means he's the number one minister all of right. all the ministers, but he can to those, um, uh, submit some of these uh, powers to his aides, beginning from the vice president down to the people he wants to have, um, appoint as minister. And they hold their offices at his own and winter campuses. The day he said, You are no more a minister, definitely you will kick the cabinet. Uh, bye -bye. So I, I think what the president is doing is to Indeed. keep a lot of Nigerians in guess. I hear you, Mr. I'm afraid that's our time. Um, we'll continue this conversation uh, subsequently. A big thank you, Dipo uh the national, the, the national secretary of the NNPP, and we're also joined by organizing secretary of the APC in Lagos, Ayodele, Adewale. Gentlemen, thank you for your contribution on the program this evening. Well, that's our show. Thanks for being a part of it. You can watch it again at midnight and at 6 a.m. Tomorrow, I am Nifemi Ogunto Yen.